<laughs> All right, everybody, it's time for today's first guest. Now, he comes from Radio BDC. Please welcome to the show, Adam 12. <laughs> welcome, sir. Good to have you. Good to have you. Welcome, Adam. Uh, please enjoy that water. I, it's very, it's very like cold to. and fresh. I like yeah. that. Thank That's you. good. Uh, here we call it Uzo. Right. Uh, Adam, let's talk now. Yeah. Uh, Radio BDC is yes. part of Boston.com. Yes. It's a, a new venture. It's been about a year now. What's, what's uh, Radio BDC all about? It, well, we, uh, we, we launched it. It was funny. Um, it was just a, it was a year ago last week mm -hmm. that uh, a bunch of us that were working for WFNX, uh, which was an alternative station in Boston, uh, we were all fired on the same day. And uh, uh, then within weeks, we're all hired by Boston.com. Uh, well, not all, but six of us were hired by Boston.com and brought in mm -hmm. to basically do what we were doing at WFNX, but online for this, what we now call Radio BBC, which is a streaming alternative station. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone who remembers or listened to FNX, a little bit of musical similarity, um, but it's a streaming product. So we almost describe it as like a Pandora, uh, but with a soul, because we have a program director that programs the music, and we have live hosts that present it. Mm -hmm. So I, I know that uh, growing up here in Boston now, people will remember you from WBCN. No one remembers me. From yeah. that. <laughs> He's very nice. No, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, What's My happening dad. to these radio stations? <laughs> why, why are the radio stations uh, closing? What's happening here? It's Well, my theory, Steve, is that people that want to discover new music and who used to use radio as that vehicle, uh, they don't go there anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and you can play the whole chicken or the egg game and, you know, say, well, is it, you know, did programming change so that, you know, people can't find it there anymore? Or did they just, did they go online to find it? But the bottom line is, is that people are, who want to discover new music are now going online to find it. Mm -hmm. um, and there's just really not much reason to have the style of music that we play on Radio BDC on a terrestrial signal anymore. There's not a big enough audience for it. But there is online, you know, mm -hmm. where people are going, you know, they're using their phones, they're using their computer to discover new music. We saw the need there, and we now get to fill that need. There's something cool happening there as well, because I've, I've noticed it on Boston.com, is you guys have a lot of live performances from yes. not only local bands, but bands traveling through the area. Absolutely. We have, it's a series we call Live in the Lab. Um, the setup is great over, uh, the, we're in the, the Boston Globe building, and it's, fun, it's funny, you've got like the, the presses are right, right here, and they're churning out the newspaper. <laughs> and then we've got our studio where we're, making radio, I guess you could say. And then uh, right on the other side of us is uh, what's called the Boston Globe Media Lab, mm -hmm. which is this great creative space. And uh, we go and we take it over and we set it up. Uh, and we have, as you said, you know, sometimes it's local bands. We've had a uh, band air, air traffic controller came through not too long ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, National Acts, we just had, uh, who do we just have that came through? Um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Youngblood Hawk mm -hmm. came through as well. We've had uh, the Lumineers came through last summer. And uh, yeah, we'll set them up and we'll live stream the performance at Boston.com and play the radio, uh, the audio on Radio BDC. And then it lives there as well, so you can go back through the archives and see the performance. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll have to stop by and make a visit. I would love that. <laughs> can you do radio? I mean, I know you're a TV guy, but you know, you could probably do a little yeah. bit of radio. Yeah? I could, I could huh? try. You could try. Obviously, the audience doesn't want me to go because they're. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the look of, yeah. When I mentioned that, I looked in the They're audience like, and just the face, the anger. <laughs> Even Miss Massachusetts was growling at me. I, is she allowed to growl? She is now. Uh, <laughs> you guys also have these series, uh, these these concert events. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the, the plus one series. <laughs> yeah, we're, we'll, we'll get together with a, with a band again. We'll like we'll grab whether it's a local band. We had uh, Blacklight Dinner Party who are, uh, have their roots in Boston. They're based in New York now. Uh, we had them uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, we had this great band from the UK called the 1975. Uh, both of those shows we had at Bright Music Hall, but we'll just basically, we'll, we'll book a band, we'll put them in a room in Boston, and we'll put on a free show. Mm -hmm. And we just have people, RSVP, uh, they show up, and uh, we end up putting on a fantastic uh, uh, performance. We're, we're, all about, you know, we're, all, we're all about music discovery mm -hmm. and you know, kind of you know, finding these bands and sharing them with people, whether it's on the stream at you know, boston.com or whether it's you know, in the venues live. Well, we, we hope that you guys are able to stop by our anniversary show. We have some great bands that night. That's happening uh, in June, right? Yeah, in June. Yeah. In fact, uh, our music producer, Mick, uh, yes. the Interra Bang is playing. Yes, so, absolutely. Uh, it's a great a band. Green you guys guy. haven't heard yeah. the Interra Bang? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Uh, so 
please uh, come to the event. We'd love to have you there. But before we go, I want to yeah. mention this. Uh, you also are a teacher. I do. I, I, I do a teach. I, I started last fall. I am, uh, it depends on who you talk to. I'm either an associate professor or a part-time, no, an adjunct professor or a part-time lecturer. Anyway, I teach at Northeastern University. I teach uh, audio production. Yeah, how about yeah. that, everybody? Yeah. 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 Just trying to give back. Just trying to give back to you. <clears throat> I used to teach as well. Giving back, it's... Yeah. You don't always get a lot, but yeah, yeah. inside you do. Yes, that's it. it's pretty much all you get. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, if people want to hear you on Radio BDC, what's your shift in case we have some people internationally that want to tune in? I'm I'm on in the afternoon, so that'd be uh, two to six uh, Eastern time. But we have uh, we have live hosts and programming uh, pretty much every day from seven o'clock in the morning all the way through you know nine or ten o'clock at night, mm -hmm. and it all streams at Boston.com/radio. We also have a free app, the Radio BDC app, on iPhone and on, uh, on Android as well. And even BlackBerry, for those three of you left that have a BlackBerry. Yeah. 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 Are you one of those three, Steve? No, I couldn't afford a BlackBerry. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Adam12, we thank you for coming, and good luck with Radio BDC. How about it, everybody? Thanks, thank, you. thank you, sir. All right. Appreciate it. Take the water. <laughs> have another sip. We'll be right back, right after this. <laughs>